بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از سید محمد علی اینڈ یو آر واچنگ اسلام اینڈ سائیکالوجی ٹوڈے وی وٹنس ہاؤ دی پیپل آف پیلسٹائن اینڈ غزہ آر انجورنگ میزائل اسٹرائکس لیڈنگ ٹو اے ٹریجک جینوسائڈ مینی انوسینٹ چلڈرن مین اینڈ وومین ہیو لاس دیئر لائفس اینڈ یٹ دیر آر فیو وائسز ریزڈ ان دیئر اسپورٹ ناؤ آئی ایم شیئرنگ دس بلیسڈ حدیث ٹو ناٹ اونلی انفارم پیپل but also to highlight the significance of those who despite everything are not ready to surrender al-Aqsa Mosque. In this hadith, the virtue of these people is explained. The Prophet Rasulullah mentioned this hadith about 1400 years ago in the 7th century when Palestine and Syria were not in Muslim hands. So this hadith proves that Prophet Rasulullah knew that the people here would embrace Islam and would continue to fight for the sake of Al-Quds until the Day of Judgment. So, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A group from my ummah will always be fighting at the gates of Damascus and its surroundings and at the gates of Baitul Muqaddas and its surroundings. Those who seek to destroy them will never be able to disgrace them. They will remain steadfast upon the truth until the day of judgment arrives. So, dear brothers and sisters, we have some powerful Muslim countries like Pakistan, Turkey, Iran, Saudi Arabia and the UAE. However, these countries are under the leadership of corrupt and cowardly individuals and no one is ready to help Palestine, even though the Muslim citizens of these countries want to assist the people of Gaza. We offer our sincere appreciation to these remarkable Muslims. Due to the incompetence of our governments, we may not be able to assist them directly, but our hearts beat in unison with theirs. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for their success.